Hey everybody, what's up? It's Tim here. I'm coming to you uh, today to talk very briefly about something incredibly basic for the guitar player, but pretty essential. I want to talk to you today about guitar picks. That's right. Uh, for as long as there have been guitars, uh, mankind has been making guitar picks out of anything, pretty much. Uh, wood, metal, stone. Um, our ancient uh, guitar playing brethren used to dive into the sea and wrestle forth giant tortoises in order to make a, uh, a guitar pick out, or guitar picks rather, out of tortoise shells. Um, in fact, uh, as history has it, uh, tortoise shell guitar picks were very, very popular because they had some of the best tonal properties of the materials that were available. Um, but as you imagine, uh, making guitar picks out of real tortoise shells has been outlawed, and um, so it's probably for the best that we're no longer wrestling giant sea creatures to get the tone that we want. Um, anyway, so guitar picks are pretty essential uh, to the guitar player. They're something that... Um, uh, you might find one particular kind of guitar pick that you really like that uh, plays well on, on your guitar. Um, or you might uh, find that different picks have different applications. Um, I myself use a variety of picks depending on what I'm, uh, what I'm doing. And you'll find that there are different kinds of picks for all different uh, shapes and sizes. Uh, one of the things that, um, that I'm doing for you, I'm going to show up on the screen here. There's, uh, this is a chart and this shows just some basic information. And uh, also, I'm going to make this chart uh, downloadable if you guys want to pull it down. Uh, you can see that there are different sizes. There's different thicknesses and millimeters um, and inches. There's different sizes and shapes, different weights of guitar picks. Um, the one thing that I encourage every guitar player, especially every new guitar player, to do uh, with their guitar picks is try them out. Um, you know, pick up, uh, pick up a variety pack, pick up an assortment. Um, or, you know, go to your music store and your local music store and um, just, you know, fork over a little bit of change and uh, pick up a whole different, you know, a whole different style of guitar pick. Try them out. Find out what you like. Um, you know, this one right here is, uh, this is a Jim Dunlop. Uh, it's a 73 millimeter. Um, and uh, hopefully you can see this. It's got a little turtle on it. Hmm, I wonder where that came from. The turtle. Anyway, um, so that's what I'm using currently with this uh, with this guitar, but um, you'll find um, you'll find that they come in all different kinds of shapes and sizes. This is actually a Snarling Dogs uh, pick, and this is um, it's his brain on one side, and then um, it's also a 73 millimeter. However, this one's a little different, even though it's 73 millimeter. This one's a little bit thinner, and it's got a little bit more snap to it. Um, I'll see if I can put this up here on the camera for you. I uh, probably can't see, but it's also got kind of a kind of a little grip thing that's been um, that's been embedded in it, and that's definitely different than the Dunlop pick that I was using. Um, so you'll you'll find that there's all different kinds of picks, and, and um, really the truth of it is, as a beginning guitar player, um, the best thing you can do is just try out as many different kinds of picks as you will. Um, one other word on the on the guitar picks in general. A lot of uh, new guitar players tend to prefer really thin picks, and the reason for that is because it makes strumming a little bit easier. But as you uh, progress in your guitar playing, you may find that the thin pick isn't as good for individual things. You know, um, the thin pick uh, may be great as far as you know playing chords and stuff um, go, but whenever you start doing some finer, uh, you know, more intricate scale work or whatever. You know, it may be a little bit easier if you have a thicker pick. Um, and the thicker pick, actually, as you progress, you'll find, at least I have found, it seems to give me a little bit more control. A little more control over the strings. So, experiment, play, have fun, and uh, pick your pick. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.